Hey, Jimmy with Cuff and Stuff. Man, have we got a good one for you today. We're doing smoked barbecue chicken wings on the Pit Boss cooker. First time for wings for us on a pellet smoker. Man, these things are crispy. So hang tight. Okay, well, what I didn't show you is I patted these good and dry. I put them on this rack and let me see if I can show you. There you go. I put them on this rack and put them in the refrigerator for about two hours. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put all this chicken in this bag. Now, this is a one gallon size bag, okay? And this chicken's pretty much gonna give it all it wants. But, as you see, let me set this off to the side here. This is a bag full of chicken wings, all right? In order to make these crispy, crispy, First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take baking powder, not baking soda, baking powder. And I'm going to put, this is going to be about a good heaping teaspoon, maybe one and a half. <laughs> All right, I'm going to zip it up and I'm going to shake it. I want to get all of this bacon powder on this chicken. Okay. Now, I'm going to take some seasoning. Not all I'm going to use, but I'm going to take some. Guess what I'm gonna use? I bet you can't guess. <laughs> Uncle Steve Shake, of course. This is Bird Shake. Now, if you've seen me before, and oh my goodness, my last brand new bottle. Let's open it up. There we go. Uncle Steve. I'm going to be talking to you soon. All right. That's probably, well, I don't know, two, maybe. Let's shake this up. Get it all the way to the bottom. Why do I do this? It covers it pretty well. And it doesn't make a mess. I'm all for not making a mess. All right, now we've got that chicken pretty well covered with baking powder and that Uncle Steve's competition bird shake. All right, let's spread it out. So what am I gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do, right? I am gonna take the bird shake and I'm gonna hit it again. That wasn't enough for me. <laughs> Honestly, it's never enough. But here we go. Let me suggest www.unclestevesshake.com Tell him I sent you. If you order some, um, I would suggest all of the competition shakes to South Texas Red. Now, this is one of the ones um, I'm feeding the family 
and my wife's gonna eat some she doesn't do spicy at all but man I love South Texas red um, there are none that aren't just absolutely delicious so whatever you order you can't go wrong all right I'm gonna let that sit I have my pit boss on smoke in just a minute I'm gonna go over I'm gonna put this chicken on the pit boss and when I do I'll bring you back well all right we got the smoke rolling let's get this chicken on I've got the diverter closed this is just on the smoke setting right now I'm gonna get some good smoke rolling on these and I probably am gonna leave it at the smoke setting for I don't know half an hour at least get some good smoke on these wings and then we'll go back from there so here we go you can see this pit boss holds a lot of chicken all right let's close him up all right I'm gonna let it go for about 30 minutes and I'll check it and see what we look like when I do I'll bring you back okay they've been half an hour you can see we still have the smoke rolling and nice and dry which is what we want the skin to do all right so we're going to turn him up to 250 degrees it's just that easy or you can do it on the cell phone the ipad whatever you're using we're going to let this go another hour before i check it again so just stick with us we're going to show you how to make these crispy and barbecue at the same time okay pitball says we are at 160 with these oh my goodness look how pretty they are mm, 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 mm. pull that out I'm gonna go ahead and flip all these over to the other side oh my goodness that's and I can tell you I feel already I can feel how crispy these are these are starting to get crispy like we want them all right so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead now you know Carolina boy we're gonna do a mustard base barbecue and we're gonna start glazing these up with a mustard base barbecue sauce and oh my goodness are these gonna be delicious I can tell you already now you probably heard me say before if you're new to the channel let me tell you the last thing in the world you want to do is put a cold out of the refrigerator glaze or barbecue sauce on any kind of meat okay all you end up with is a gloppy mess on top of the meat but if you'll leave it out I like to put it next to a heat source like the grill here which is what I had I had this sitting just right up next to the grill so it would heat up I don't want to boil it but I want to get it nice and warm it thins it out and man does it make a big difference all right now I've got that one side glazed 
I'm gonna let this go about 10 minutes. Let's close it back up. I'm gonna turn it up to 400 degrees. And there we go. It's at 400 degrees. I'm gonna come back in about 10 to 15 minutes and I'm gonna flip it over and do the other side. And it's gonna be ready to try. Okay, well, we've actually been about 15 minutes on this. And look at that glaze. Oh my goodness. Is this a pretty chicken? Yes, it is. It's coming off. Ooh, we're going to have a good supper. I hate you're not here to try it because this is going to be some good stuff. All right. Well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this in, let it cool down just a little bit. bring you back for the taste test. All right. Only one thing left to do. And this is my favorite part right here. Oh my goodness. Hang on. Crispy skin, tender, makes a puppy big. <laughs> Thanks for hanging around. If you haven't already, hit the circle on this side. I'd appreciate it. Subscribe. I'll have another video for you over here. Until next time, hang tight. No.